Sorry about that, folks. Uh, looks like my phone had a little less space in it than I thought. So we're just going to make this a two-part video, it looks like. So, again, apologies. Uh, we'll start off where I left off, kind of going over sword point diplomacy. Uh, two and a black for a sorcery. Reveal the top three cards of your library. For each of those cards, put that card into your hand unless an opponent pays three life. Uh, exile the cards that they don't pay, or that they pay three life for. Basically, so um, doesn't seem great, uh, but you know, uh, maybe they'll take nine and then just basically you triple lightning bolted them. But all in all, it doesn't seem like an amazing card. Uh, but yeah, uh, the token was a treasure token with the uh, with the merfolk armor on it, and planes just pretty looking little planes. So let's get back into the actual cracking of packs again. Apologies for the inconvenience, uh, I'll try to make this as fluid as possible. Uh, so we got March of the Drowned, we got Ryle, Shining Aerosaur, Fathom Fleet Cutthroat, just making sure this is all on frame, uh, Commune with Dinosaurs, Triceratop, if you will, Sailor of Means, Blinding Fog, which I like a lot, Contract Killing, Cancel. Good old cancel. There's nope. Uh, we water trap weaver. God, that is a mouthful. Uh, good card. Rigging runner is our first uncommon. Uh, single red for a one one with first strike and spell filled with a plus one plus one counter on it if you attack with the creature this turn, which for one mana card isn't exactly what you want to be doing, but you know if it makes it better late game I guess and it, it does have first strike so uh, all that upside. The second uncommon we have is good old fashioned air elemental. Five blue, three blue, blue for a four, four with flying. Oh, air elemental. Nobody really asked for you. God damn it. Oh. I think I've still been recording. Uh, sorry about that. There was a little bit of a blip going on. And then we got snapping sail back. Four on the green for a four, four. Uh, with Flash, whenever it is dealt damage, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. So this seems like progressively better and better as the game progresses. And our rare is Revel in Riches. Gosh, this is such a build-around card, and I love it so much. Four and a black for an enchantment. Whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, make a treasure token. Whenever you have, at the beginning of your upkeep, if you have ten or more treasures, you win the game. Just straight up, win the game. Go, gotta love alt win con cards. Got another, got us another looking, pretty looking little uh, forest here for our land. And our token is a pirate with menace. He's a tutu, yar. And Vraska makes those. Let's do a couple other cards, but Vraska is the most notable. So, next pack in the middle of this box. Not, not really. No, no, we haven't even got to the middle of the box. I don't think. Uh, Rummaging Goblin, Sunrise Seeker. The art on that card is just so confusing because the guy's right there, and you got the dinosaur there. Guy, guy there, dino there. Just it's all kind of blurring together. But whatever. Uh, Fathom Fleet Cutthroat, Prosperous Pirates, Deep Root Warrior, Good Old Merfolk, Windstrider, More Merfolk. Hierophant's Chalice, uh, nobody really likes you. Costly Plunder, removal, uh, not really removal, uh, you remove your own stuff, then draw cards. Fire Cannon Blast, Dire Fleet Interloper, uh, and first uncommon is another Rigging Runner, because Goblin Pirates. Uh, next up we've got another Wild Growth Walker, uh, talked about this guy earlier, not gonna go in too in-depth. Uh, Last uncommon is Otepic Huntmaster. Haven't talked about him yet. One in the red for a 1 2 human shaman. Dino spells you cast cost one less. And tap it to give a dino haste until end of turn. And just a good good old fashioned tribal card. And our rare is River's Rebuke. Uh, I like this card a lot. Uh, good bounce spell in general. It's four blue blue for a sorcery. Return all non land permanents target player controls to their owner's hand. It's like. How would you just like to have a constant overloaded uh, Psychotic Rift in hand? No, you can't. 
And then we got a planes. That is the art on these lands is just gorgeous. Like I have to bring that up. It's just all amazing. Oh, let me see if I can fix the lighting here a little bit. There we go. That should do a little better. Yeah, nice planes, and we got another little vampire token. Uh, uh, one second, folks. Uh, I got a few texts I need to get rid of. Sorry about this. Uh, all right, I had to text my mother, let her know that I'm feeling okay. Actually, I had to come home from work a little early because my stomach was kind of upset, but not feeling too much better. But you know, things happen. So we got a frenzied raptor, slash of talons, queen's agent, deep root warrior. Siren Lookout, Anointed Deacon, Pirate's Cutlass, Vanquish the Weak, Jungle Dilver, I like these guys, Ancient Brontodon, Belligerent Brontodon is our first uncommon, uh, 5 green light for a 4-6, sorry about that, thing fell over, uh, each creature you control assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power, so that's a fun little card. Uh, next uncommon is Slice in Twain, a free print from, I believe, Mirrodin Besieged block. Two green green for an instant, destroy an artifact or enchantment, draw a card. Next up we have Drover of the Mighty, more good uh, dinosaur tribal to cards. One green for a 1-1, one, one, but it gets plus 2, plus 2 if you control a dino. And tap to add one mana of any color to your mana pool. And then our rare is Sanguine Sacrament. X white white for an instant. You gain twice X life. Uh, put Sanguine Sacrament on the bottom of its owner's library. So just get a bunch of life. Because who doesn't like having life? And then no rare, or no, not not rare, no foil, but uh, another pretty looking little forest. And we got another merfolk looking uh, treasure token. So that's fun. Make sure I didn't accidentally put a rare in here. Yep, yep. Put Ur's Rebuke in there for some reason with all the uncommons. Oopsie doodle. Sorry about that. Like I said, haven't done one of these in a while. So, I'm gonna have to ask for delayed forgiveness on the clunkiness of this video. So we got Queen's Bay Soldier, Rummaging Goblin, Bishop Soldier, Crash the Ramparts, Shipwreck Looter, Stormfleet Pyromancer, Siren's Ruse, Jungle Delver, Raptor Companion, Ancient Brontodon, first uncommon is Duskborn Sky Marcher, good for the one slot, one drop slot in Vampires, we all, it's a one, 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 one for a single white, flying, white tap it, target attacking vampire gets plus one, plus one until end of turn, uh, seems like a, just a solid, one drop. Uh, next up we got good old fashioned lightning strike. One of red for an instant, deals three damage target creature or player. That's a solid card, because they're never gonna reprint lightning bolt apparently. Uh, next uncommon is Seeker's Squire. One and a black for a one two, one in inches of battlefield, explore. Uh, solid. And our rare is Goring Ceratops. Five white white for a three three with double strike. Whenever it attacks, other creatures you control gain double strike. Until end of turn, of course. But still a neat little card. Then we got another uh, check card and a vampire looking treasury token. Do 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 do. Cracking the packs. Do 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 do. Cracking all packs. Cracking the packs all the time. Yeah, yeah. Ugh. This is going to end up taking a lot longer if I keep doing these, like, keep addressing these all individually, so I'm just going to kind of flip through the comments now. So, doop, 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 be doop, 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 there we go. The first uncommon for the pack is Raider's Week, which I went over already. Uh, we got a Bishop of the Bloodstained. Uh... Three black black for a three three. When there's a battlefield, target opponent loses one life for each vampire you control. See, so vampire Bob. 
Uh, next uncommon is Deadeye Quartermaster, aka Aaron Campbell. Uh, three and a green, or not green, blue. That is blue. I'm I I'm not drunk. You're drunk. Uh, three and a blue for a two-two human pirate. And spell ability may search for you may search your library for an equipment or vehicle card. Reveal it, put it in your hand, and shuffle. Seems pretty okay. And our rare is Old Growth Dryads. One green for a three-three. Uh, when does this battlefield? Each opponent may search his or her library for a single basic. Put it on the battlefield tap, then shovel his or her library. Uh, good, I think, in mono green stompy decks. Outside of that, uh, if you've got cards that shut off into the battlefield effects, like the uh, like the soldier from this set, that's basically just torpor orb on a stick. Uh, aside, that's one of the few cases where this card's good. And hey, we got we got a where's Jace basic, so that's neat. And we got a pirate token. More packs. There are so many packs in this box. Alrighty, so just need to just rifle through the commons. Shrip, 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 boop, 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 boop. Okay, first uncommon is Vicious Conquistador. Conquistador. Again, I'm not drunk here, drunk. Uh, went over this guy a little earlier, so I'm not going to go into in depth on him. Tempest Collar, which we went over a little earlier. Uh, again, won't go too in depth. Thundering Spineback, we also went over earlier, so I'm not going to go over him. And then our rare is another Daring Saboteur. This time, not in foil. Uh, who we also went over, so I'm not going to go over him again either. And we got a mountain, which I believe is a Where's Jace. Yeah, he's right there. It's no Jace. Pretty sure that's Jace. Not 100%, but pretty sure. And we got an illusion token. So that's neat. I remember, or I forgot to bring this up at the beginning, but you'll, you should notice a kind of dip in quality from this from last video to this video. Because uh, I'm shooting this on my iPad, which is really old as compared to my iPhone 7, which is not really old. So apologies for the dip in quality as well. Uh, cards, cards, these are cards. Look at all these common cards. Cards, cards, look at cards. There's so many cards. We got a Duskborn Skymarcher for our first uncommon. Went over that, not going to again. Lookout's Dispersal, I believe I went over. Uh, so again, I told you what it does. There you go. Call of the Feast I have also gone over, so won't again. And then our rare is a Fell Flagship. Uh, three mana for a 3-3 three, three vehicle. Pirates you control get plus one plus oh. Uh, whenever it deals combat damage to a player, that player discards card. And it has crew for three. That's neat. We got a island, which is not a Warrior's Jace land. And we got a vampire token. So that's fun. Open and pass. Looking at cards. Look at all of these cards. Cards and cards. Common cards. There are so many common cards. Cards. There we go. So we... Uh, first uncommon is another Slice and Twain. So you've seen this. I've told you what it does. There you go. You've had your second. Uh, the Raptor Hatchling. Look at that adorable little face. Uh, you know what it does because I've told you what it does. Uh, next up, we've got Adonto Vanguard. Uh, I have told you what this guy does as well. So, there you go. That's the card again. And our rare is a Sanctum Seeker. So that's fun. Uh, two black black for a 3-4. Whenever a vampire you control attacks, each opponent loses one life. And you gain one life. Kind of like a vampire Hellrider. And then we got, ooh, Foil Forest. Look at that pretty Foil Forest. That is very pretty. Look at how pretty. That is nice. We got a basic mountain and a treasure token. So we got foil, non foil, and token. More packs. Yeah. Packs. On packs, on packs. So we got an uh, Altasaur. Cards and cards. All of the cards ever. There are so many cards. Look at all the cards. There we go.
The first song common is Verdant Rebirth. One in a green for an instant. Uh, until in a turn, target creature gains. Whenever this creature dies, return it to its owner's hand. Draw a card. That's a pretty fun ability. Marauding Looter, one of the pirates I've been looking at, looking at quite a bit. Two blue red for a four three with raid. At the beginning of your incept, if you attack with a creature this turn, you may draw a card. If you do, discard a card. So loot. I like the flavor text. It's kind of fun. And it is a four three. And then second and third, or last uncommon rather, is fiery cannonade. Two in a red for an instant deals two damage to each non-pirate creature. Kind of like a uh, non-pirate uh, pyroclasm, which is pretty fun. Unless your opponent is running uh, anything like Enrage, in which case it's just bad for you. And our rare is a treasure map. Two mana for an artifact, one tap, scry one. Put a landmark counter on treasure map. Then if there are three or more landmark counters on it, remove those counters, transform treasure map, and create three treasures. Uh, and on the back, you transform it into treasure cove. Tap to add a colorist, or tap and sacrifice a treasure to draw a card. It's a neat little, neat little card. They, uh, I believe they previewed the uh, flip ability with with this card, so that's, that's a fun card. I got a check token and another dino. Slowly but surely, we will get through this box together. I promise. We've got a bunch of commons. Look at all these commons. There are so many commons before the uncommon. And here's our first uncommon. First up we have Rallying Roar. Two and a white for an instant. Creatures you control get plus one plus one until end of turn. Untap them. Good in decks that have uh, kind of exert abilities or uh, crew effects. So, uh, seems fun. Next up we have Perilous Voyage, which I also kind of enjoy as a card. It's one in a blue for an instant. Return a non-land and permanent you control you don't control to a tone's hand. Sorry. If it's converted mana cost was two or less, scry two. Uh, just an all-around kind of good removal spell, especially at two at instant speed. Uh, we don't get enough kind of bounce spells like that nowadays, especially with the upside like that. Uh, and just seems like a solid card. Uh, next up we've got Imperial Aerosaur. Three and a white for a 3-3 three, three flying dinosaur. Uh, when it is a battlefield, another target creature you control gets plus one, plus one, and flying until end of turn. So that's pretty neat. He brings a buddy. And then our rare is Burning Sun's Avatar. Have we gone over this? I don't think we've gone over this guy yet. Three red, red, red for a 6-6. Six, six. When it enters the battlefield, deal three damage to target opponent, and three damage to up to one target creature. And it's a fun card. It's like, we're going to burn your shit, and they're going to die. And then we've got a foil, Merfolk Branch Walker. You can see the little foiling on his, or her, rather, I think. Maybe, I don't know. You don't matter, Judge. Uh, breastplate and the river back there is all pretty in foil, too. So, uh, one in a green for a 2 1 when there's a battlefield, explore. And then we got another. Ooh, we got a Where's Chase Plains. He's right there. Look at him. He's so lost. Oh, poor amnesiac Chase. And then we've got a treasure token. Got a little bit left of this box to go through, and then y'all will be all set and done with me for the rest of the day, at least. Maybe, probably not, who knows. Uh, cards, all the cards. So many cards, look at cards. There we go. First uncommon is a Dusk Legion Dreadnought, who I have gone over already, so I'm not going to again. Next up, we have a Trove of Temptation, which I know we haven't gone over. Three and a red for an enchantment. Each opponent must attack you or a Planeswalker you control with at least one creature each combat available. At the beginning of your end step, make a treasure token. Uh, not, not super sold on this card. Seems kind of like a trap. Uh, Savage Stomp is our last uncommon. Two and a green for a sorcery. Costs two less if you target a dinosaur with it. Uh, you can put a plus one plus one counter on a creature you control, then that creature fights a creature you don't control. And then our rare is a dead eye tracker. I like this card a lot. Also, the art is just gorgeous. A single black for a one one pirate, one black tap, exile two target cards from an opponent's graveyard, it explores. That's fun. And then we got, hey, the same, the same planes. Mm, Jace is right there. He's so lost because he's got amnesia. And then a vampire token. Next up, another pack. 
I'll let y'all know when we're getting close to the end of the box. Y'all can just have a sigh of relief. Uh, stupid do. A bunch of commons. Look at all these commons. There's so many commons. We got another perilous voyage as our first one common. Uh, again, like this card a lot. Uh, I hope it sees play because it's a really neat effect. Uh, next up, we have another air elemental. Uh, told y'all about this guy. You should know about this guy. He's a reprint. Uh, another sap snapping sail back. Uh, shown y'all him before. He's actually I just like him a lot. He's a neat card. Flash is a good effect on a card like this with Enrage. Uh, you can basically use him as a glorified combat trick. And then our rare is Mavern Fine Thane? Fine? Fine. Fine! Everything's fine. Uh, Mavern Fine Dusk Apostle. Two and a white for a 2 2 vampire cleric. Legendary, of course. Whenever one or more non token creature, non token vampires you control attack, create a 1 1 vampire creature token with lifelink. That's pretty fun. We got a swamp. Uh, not a where's Jace land, of course. But it just has mushroom, mushrooms, so you know it's high as fuck. And then a treasure token. More packs. All the packs, all the time. Uh, cards, cards, common cards. Look at all these common cards before the uncommon appears right here. So first up we've got Raider's Wake again. Next is Belligerent Brontodon, yet again. I like that he has the, uh, the door, the... Wow, I can't believe I just thought of the name and forgot it in half an instant. Um, the Tree Folk dude, legendary guy. I'm not gonna try and remember his name, because that's gonna take all video. Uh, last uncommon is another Raging Sword Tooth. Uh, Silver card like a mod in the uh, Dino decks, and our rare is a Boneyard Parlay because, of course, uh, five black black for a sorcery, exile up to five, count them five, target creature cards from graveyards. Not your graveyard, not an opponent's graveyard, graveyard period. An opponent separates those two cards and those cards into two piles. Put all cards from the pile on, of your choice onto the battlefield under your control, and the rest into their owner's graveyards. So uh, just kind of like a not as great, uh, what's in a digger? Gifts ungiven. Also cost a whole buttload of mana. So I don't like it. Hey, it's a Where's Jace Forest. He's right there. He, you can't climb that thing, silly Jace. And treasure token. How many packs we have left? We've got, we've got about 12 packs left to go. So we're about two thirds of the way through. We are two thirds of the way through now. So, not much longer for y'all before you get to be done with me. Doop doo. Doodaloo. Commons everywhere. Commons here and there. Not there. That's uncommon. First up, we have a sheltering alliance, which we haven't gone over yet. Single white for an instant. Target creature gains indestructible until end of turn. Scry one. Pretty good, uh, pretty good combat trick, if you ask me. Which you are, because you don't have a choice. Next up, we've got a Navigator's Ruin. I haven't gone over this this card yet. Two and a blue for an enjambment with Raid. At the beginning of your end step, if you attack the creature this turn, target opponent mills four, because that's a card that needed to exist. Last uncommon we have is Lurking Chupacabra, also known as Chupa Thingy. Uh, three and a black for a two three. Uh, whenever a creature you control explores, target a creature, target creature an opponent controls gets minus two minus two until end of turn. Seems decent. And our rare is an Angras Marauders. 5 red red for a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, if a source you control would deal damage to a permanent or player, it deals double that damage to that permanent or player instead. Because, naturally, doubling damage is an awesome ability, and this guy is just massively expensive. Otherwise, not super great. And then we've got a planes, pretty looking little planes, and a treasure token. That's fun. So close and so far from the end of this box. I know you guys love hearing the sound of my voice. Just kidding, I know you hit it. Uh, doop a doo, bunch of cards, bunch of cards, these cards, look at cards, cards. There we go. First on common is Ruthless Knave. Two in a black for a 3 2 orc pirate. 
Two and a black. Sacrifice a creature. Make two t treasure tokens. Uh, seems like a pretty solid card in either mid-range pirate strategies or the blue-black uh, pirate artifact strategies, because it's just a uh, not not great body, but decent effect on said body, because you notice it doesn't say sacrifice another creature. You can just sacrifice it to its own ability if you need to in the last ditch moment. And next up we have a bright reprisal. Good old removal. Four and a bl white, not black. I'm blind. Instant. Uh, destroy target attacking creature. Draw a card. Um, like I said, good removal. Has cantrip. What's not to love? Uh, River Sneak is our last uncommon. One and a blue for a 1 1 Merfolk Warrior. Can't be blocked. And whenever another Merfolk enters the battlefield under your control, it gets plus 1 plus 1. So if you can just, like, slam a whole bunch of Merfolk tokens, this guy gets huge and you can just rumble in. And our rare, doo doo doo, is Captain Lannery Storm. Our first, uh. Our first legendary pirate of the day. So we got two and a red for a 2-2 two, two with haste. Whenever it attacks, make a, make a to treasure token. And whenever you sacrifice the treasure token, uh, it gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. So uh, it seems, seems okay. Seems like a decent card. I got an island. Hey, look, there's Jace. What are you doing? You're crazy. You're crazy. And we got a merfolk token, which, again, these merfolk tokens look gorgeous. We got about ten packs left to go, folks. Hope y'all don't hate me too much for subjecting y'all to two separate videos. Because I know I would. Just kidding. I wouldn't. I would understand. And I hope you do too. Because I know y'all are great people. I'm sorry. Uh, rambling. Okay. Commons. Commons. So many commons. All of the commons. First uncommon, however, is another trope of temptation, which I've gone over. I'm not going to again. I'm mean, going to look at the card one last time before I put it over into this pile right now. Uh, same with this lightning strike, giving you a few seconds to remember that I told you what it does, and then slowly move it into another pile. I will also be doing the same with Seeker Squire, because I've shown you this lady too. And I may or may not have shown you the card underneath. It's a Rip Draw Raptor for our rare. I actually love this card so much. It's like the art is gorgeous, great cost, good ability. The body's awesome for what it does. 4-5 for a 2, 4 5 for 2 green green dinosaur. Whenever it's still damaged, draw a card. Because green needed more ways to be awesome. It's just a good card. What else is there to say? And we've got a foil, Dead Eye Tormentor. Look at him. We've got a foily sword. And pirate booty. And then we got a forest for our uh, land and a dinosaur token. We are almost done with the box. Just about nine packs to go. I am not good at opening these these packs and rifling through them super fast because you know I'm not. And I wish I was super great at this, but you know I don't get paid enough for this shit. By that, I mean I don't get paid anything for this shit. <laughs> Alright, first uncommon is Ruthless Knave, which I've shown y'all already. Same with the Dusk Legion Dreadnought. I've shown y'all this guy. It's crazy, it's massive, it does things. And then we've got another Drover of the Mighty. Good dinosaur tribal to stuff. And our rare is a Shaper Sanctuary. Single green for an enchantment. Whenever a creature you control becomes the target of a spell or ability an opponent controls, you may draw a card. It's a thing. It does stuff. It's not super exciting. It's whatever. Uh, we got our swamp and the vampire token. Ooh, oh, um, it has been a day. Exciting, exciting day. Um, with a bunch of commons. Because there were so many commons. Can't count them all. Here's a card we haven't talked about yet. The first uncommon is Wanted Scoundrels. One in a black for a 4-3. Crazy, right? Nope. Whenever it dies, an opponent makes two colorless treasures. Uh, its flavor text says it best. Trust me, the reward is not worth it. Probably not a great card. I would imagine it's not. But uh, you never know. Somebody's probably going to do something bananas with it. Uh, next up, we have a Pillar of Origins, which we haven't talked about yet in this video. Or the last video. Or any video. Because I've never done a video like this yet. 
Um, two mana for an artifact. Into the battlefield, choose a creature type. Tapped, add a mana of any color to your mana pool. Spend this mana only to cast creatures' balls of the chosen type. Because, you know, we need, need enough tribal fixing. Last uncommon is Stormfleet Spy, which I'm fairly sure we've gone over, but I'm not 100%. Two and a blue for a 2-2 two, two with a raid. If you've attacked with a creature this turn when into the battlefield, draw a card. And it's, a, it's a card. And our rare is a Conqueror's Galleon. Four mana for a 2-10 vehicle with crew four. Whenever it attacks, exile it at the end of combat. Then return it to the battlefield transformed at the end of your turn into Conqueror's Foothold. Uh, which is a land, and just tap, taps for a colorless, or you can pay two and tap it to draw a card, then discard a card, four and tap it to draw a card, or six and tap it to return a card from your graveyard to your hand. So it didn't do enough stuff with just tap to draw a card, or pay two, tap, and draw a card. You did to do all the things. But it's a cool card. It's interesting. We got a trick token and treasure token. Just a little bit left to go, folks. I promise we're almost done. Because I cannot filter through these comments fast enough. Look at that. A card we haven't talked about yet. Who would have thunk it? A uh, dinosaur stampede. Two and a red for an instant. Attacking creatures you control get plus two plus oh until end of turn. And then dinos you control get trampled until end of turn. A uh, good, uh, good old fashioned combat trick. It's neat in dino decks. Next up we've got ranging raptors. Another dinosaur I've been looking forward to opening. Two in green for a 2-3 with Enrage. Whenever it's still damaged, tutor for a basic land, put it on the battlefield tap, and then shuffle your library. Uh, good good way to fix yourself in the, uh, in the Dino decks. I like it. Last card we have is Charging Monster Soar. Four in red for a 5-5 five, five for Trample and Haste. Straightforward to the point it'll eat your face. And last card is Sunbird's Invocation. Seems like a weird play around card. Let's, let's find out together. Five and a red for an enchantment. Whenever you cast a spell from your hand, reveal the top X cards of your library, where X is that spell's converted mana cost. You may cast a card revealed this way with converted mana cost X or less without paying its mana cost. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Sounds like Cascade. Is that Cascade? It's probably Cascade. But it's also a six mana enchantment that does nothing on its own. So whatever. And then we got a mountain and a vampire treasure token. How many packs do we have left? We got two, four, six packs left. So we'll move this box out of the way for the last couple packs. And we'll just stack the pile right there. There you go. That way y'all can see how close we are at the end of this video. Because there's a bunch more commons to flip through. Oh boy, so many commons. That's not a common. That's an uncommon that we haven't talked about yet. Three and a green for emergent growth. It's a sorcery. Target creature gets plus five, plus five, plus five until end of turn, and must be blocked this turn if able. It's a not great combat trick. I mean, it's plus five, plus five, and it has to be blocked, so it has a lower effect. So that's your other guys get in, but doesn't seem great to me. I don't know. Not the best charge of character. Next up is another Inspiring Cleric, which we've talked about before, so I'm just going to let y'all look at this one more time while I ramble for a little bit, and then move it over to the side like this. Which I'm going to do the same to this Bonded Horned Crest in half a second, after y'all look at this, and oh look, the next card is a Gishoth, Sun's Avatar, yes, we got the Dino King, King, King Dino Man, 5 red, green, white, for a 7-6 Dinosaur Avatar, legendary creature. With Trample, Vigilance, and Haste, Jesus, forgot about all those abilities. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, reveal that many cards from the top of your library, put any number of dinos from among them onto the battlefield, and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. This guy is insane. Commander players rejoice, you have a dino commander. Next up, we have a forest, which does not have Jace on it, and a Sun Empire treasure token. Bunch of things, bunch of things, all the things ever. Look at all these cons. Oh no, where are they going? They're going somewhere over here. Ooh, look, a card. Deep Root Waters. Two and a blue for an enchantment. Whenever you cast a merfolk spell, create a 1 1 merfolk with hexproof. Neat. 
Uh, I can imagine this being okay in Merfolk decks. I'm not sure if it'll fit in modern decks, but probably standard. Uh, who knows? Uh, next up, we've got another Wanted Scoundrels. Uh, again, not worth it. Don't play it. It's a trap. Uh, next is another Savage Stomp. Uh, Dino Fight. Dino Fight! Sorry. I'm weird. And our rare is a Waker of the Wilds. Two green green for a 3-3 three, three Merfolk Shaman. X green green to put X plus one plus one counters on a land. And it becomes an elemental creature with haste. And it's still a land. So you get to awaken something. And it's the name Waker of the Wilds. Oh, who would have thunk it? And we got a check token and a vampire treasure token. So many more things to open, so little time. Not really. A little for you, not so much for me. Now let's flip through these commons fairly quickly. There we go. First uncommon is Navigator's Ruin, who I've gone over before. I've also gone over Bishop of the Bloodstained, Vampire Bob. I've also gone over Dead Eye Quartermaster. But let's see if we've gone over the rare, because it is Arcane Adaptation. Color shifted uh, conspiracy. Two and a blue for or an enchantment. When it enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Uh, creatures you control of the chosen type in are are sorry. Creatures you control are the chosen type. In addition to their other colors, the same is true for creature spells you control and creature cards you own that aren't on the battlefield. Like I said, it's basically a color shifted conspiracy. I'm not sure if the wording is the exact same as conspiracy, but it does similar things. So yeah, and we got another check token and our folk token. We're down to the last three packs, so we're just about done here, folks. I appreciate y'all fighting through this with me. My voice is killing me, but I will fight on till we're done with the last pack. Because we just have a little bit left to go. Alright, an uncommon we haven't talked about. Wily Goblin. Red, red for a 1-1. One, one. Goblin Pirate. Into the battlefield. Make a treasure. It's neat. He's so wily. He's going to steal your stuff. Next up we have Atzilkan Archer. Two and a green. One four. Reach. I've talked about this already. Why am I rambling? I don't know. Words. Next up we have a Dire Fleet Captain. Oh, I love this guy so much. He's so good. Black, red for a 2-2 two, two Orc Pirate. Whenever it attacks, each or it gets plus one, plus one until end of turn for each other attacking pirate. Which is such a good card. I love it. I brewed around. I put him in the uh, black red pirate aggro decks that I brewed up, and he's just insane. And our rare is a Fathom Fleet captain. So we have two captains in a row. One in a black for a 2 1 with Menace. Uh, whenever it attacks, uh, if you control another non token pirate, you may pay two to make a 2 2 black pirate creature token with Menace. Because you didn't have enough pirates to begin with. We got another swamp and an illusion token. The last two packs, folks. We've opened a handful of Mythics. I think we've opened three Mythics total. So maybe we'll get a couple more in this pack. Maybe a Jace. Maybe not. Who knows? I don't. This is never going to end. A bunch of commons. Look at them go. Flipping through them so fast. Alright. We've got a Dinosaur Stampede, who I've gone over before. So let y'all get a little fresher. Then we got another Sheltering Light, which we've gone over before. A little... Good combat trick. Another Imperial Aerosaur, which we've gone over before, so give you all a quick little second. And our rare is Kinjali's Sunwing. Two and a blue for a 2 3 flying dinosaur. It creatures your opponent's control enter the battlefield tapped. A uh, good little almost hate bear kind of card. It's neat. And we got a foil Waker of the Wilds. That's pretty neat. Talked about her already, but she's a foil this time. Look at the foiliness. So foily. We got a planes and a vampire token. Move these guys over here. And we are at the last pack, folks. I, I want to thank y'all so much for watching and sticking through the two-parter here. Uh, I know this is kind of a kind of a grind for y'all. It's yeah, kind of wonky for me too, considering I'm not feeling 100 percent and my voice is kind of hell right now. But uh, thank y'all for watching and uh, let's finish this last pack. And then we get to all go home. Well, y'all get to go home. I'm already home. Actually, y'all might be at home, too. I don't know. Rambling. That's a...
first uncommon is another Pillar of Origins, followed by another Marauding Looter, we've talked about already. We've also talked about Fiery Cannonade. Have we talked about the last rare in this pack? We have not. It is a Priest of the Awakening Sun. One mana, one, one. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may reveal a dino. If you do, gain two life. You can also pay three white, white, and sacrifice the priest to search your library for a dinosaur card, reveal it, and put it in your hand, then shovel your library. A good dinosaur fixing card. Ooh, we got a foil, storm, sculptor. Looks so pretty. The merfolk look really pretty in foil, I have to say. And we've got a rare, or not a rare, a mountain, and a Terranon dino treasure token. So, thank y'all so much for watching. Uh, if you liked this video, just hit the like button. Let me know if y'all like this kind of kind of stuff. Uh, otherwise, I'll just kind of stick more to the uh, deck tech kind of videos. Uh, but just leave comments down below if you've got any constructive criticism for me. Uh, please, constructive only, because I'm not in the mood to kind of deal with all y'all shit right now. But uh, other than that, uh, thank y'all so much for watching. Uh, and don't forget to keep an eye on the board state. Have a great day, y'all.